All right, so this is my setup. I don't know if you notice anything unusual, but that battery right there is what is different about this setup. Now I had the other 12 volt battery in there. I switched it. I hooked up this drill battery to these lights, ran all the cabling through right above the bag in between the bars. And then I mounted the receiver or the adapter, the power adapter to the bottom of the battery casing uh, with a couple of screws, some two-way tape, and basically the battery just snaps in there right here. Now, what's so special about this battery? It's a rigid octane nine amp hour battery. It'll last all night. The other good thing about it is there's an app. See the Bluetooth symbol right there? Okay, so we got the app here. That's my battery. That's how much charge it's got. So when I put it on the charger, it'll send me alerts on my phone here to let me know that it's full. Or, you know, I can set it to give me a warning when it's 95% or whatever. You can set that up here. All the settings. It tells you when it was charged, when it was last seen, etc. Uh, you guys know what tile is. This works sort of like the tile. So I can hit identify and there's a, a blinking light on the front on the charger side. Right? It has a, a bunch of uh, metered lights there to tell you how much charge you have in the battery. Or you can hit locate. You hear that? So just like a tile. And if someone uh, takes your battery, you can lock it out. So as soon as it gets a Wi-Fi connection or Bluetooth or whatever um, out there in the field, you can hit lock or swipe the lock. It'll shut the battery down. You can check it on the map. There it is. It shows up over there. Let me hide this now. Temperature, how many hours you use it, how many charge cycles, everything. Uh, when it gets below, like when it gets to 10%, It'll send me a notification tell me that I need to charge the battery. So that's the good thing about that. And also it's powering the lights. It, it, it'll last all night and it doesn't affect the battery, the stock battery in the Super 73. Now, I didn't want to tap into the stock battery because I didn't want to take away from that, you know, take away from your range and all that other stuff. But I came up with this idea because when I purchased these lights here, it's listed 12 to I believe 36 volts. So well, I could just plug them into the uh, stock battery and wire them in there. I figured, you know, I want to keep something, keep it separate again. So I don't take away from the main battery. So this is the idea I had. I saw online that they sell these battery adapters. Say for example, a rigid power tool battery and it slides in like that and it's great. So what I did was I bought a cheapo uh, wiring kit off of eBay. I think I paid eight bucks for this and it comes with a fuse and an automotive relay. So I got that. I actually shortened this all by several feet because it's a lot of wire. And I have the leads coming off of here, right? Positive, negative, that goes to the battery, which I just snapped in. And then I got this DIN plug here, which is another, uh, might have been around 10 bucks i think i can't remember i got this off of amazon and it's a six din plug it's waterproof also so that snaps in there like that i wanted to make everything quick connect except these i hardwired these to the whole harness here and i have the light switch here originally i wanted to do a three-way switch so i can go turn one light on or turn them both on um right now they're wired up with this switch here so they both turn on at the same time and i got the brackets for these mounted on the front of the bike so they're adjustable and they're both pointing down somewhat and out front uh, they're not really blinding as you can see by my last video about this setup here though I only had one now I have two hooked up to this and I'm gonna wire them onto the bike see how it works all right so here is the setup dual LED bar headlights up here in the front I got them all wired together along with the switch switches over here again it's the generic switch wires are all bundled together ran down here and got it all soldered and hooked up underneath this uh, heat shrink or loom. I didn't shorten the wiring harness. So that's all in here right now, just for convenience sake. Then it runs through, not through the frame, but in between the frame, the top bars. It goes under here in between the bars in the bag. course the batteries attach to the seat it's pretty snug there's two screws uh, a lot of two-way tape on there I'll see how that holds up for now I might put something like a epoxy or add two more screws there's actually six holes or pukas in the adapter here
So if you enjoyed the video and you learned a little something, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button below. Also, hit the notification button so you get that alert whenever I put out a new video. Also, if you have any ideas or you want me to do some other mods to the bike, let me know because I like that kind of stuff. And until next time, take care and aloha.